Hey, Shalom and Markings of Kamba Kapash and Jim is only giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Chakodash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom out there to the whole project, pushing his truth and all sincerity. Okay, back again with another video. You know, Brother Rakai sent this video in, into the chat, man, and you know, this is some footage from um, what's happening in Pakistan right now. And the law is terrible, man. Right? The Lord. <laughs> He got drought happening in, in certain parts of the world, like here and, and you know, other places, right? Messing things up. And on, on, on the flip side, that Lord is sending floods in different places, man. And the Lord has sent a terrible flood over there in, in the land of Pakistan, man. Right? And instead of breaking one third of Pakistan under water right now, right? the Lord sent a deluge, man, right? To mess these men up, right? And over a thousand people are dead, you know? Through this flood. You know, the Lord really is terrible, man. Right? And this is why he is a power that is to be feared, man. Okay, because there, there is you know, there ain't no other power on the planet that's doing this. Right. The Lord said he create uh light and darkness, good and evil, right? Uh where is it? Where is it? We had that already. Isaiah 45 and 7 says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Right? The Lord is the one, you know, that makes all these events take place on the earth, man, whether good or bad. Right? And right now, the Lord is um, sending judgment, you know, in the land of Pakistan, man. You know, it's crazy, man. All right? So, let me play this footage, man. Let me grab the scriptures. All right? Yeah. This was a mad when I was watching. I was waiting. I knew it was gonna happen. I was waiting to see it. I was like, oh man, is it gonna do it? <laughs> That's the Lord right there, right? And then eventually one day, soon, right? All these nations are going to come to the understanding that it's the Lord, our power, okay? The Most High Yahweh, that is the only power, the only God, you know, that exists, man. Their idols are nothing, man, because where are their idols now? You know, where are their idols protecting them from the floods? Okay, they ain't, they ain't there, man. Okay, because they don't exist. It's the Lord that causes, you know, these things to occur, right? And they're going to understand that in, in due time, you know? And you can see here some of the news reports here. It says, Pakistan's floods are a monsoon on steroids, you know? It says, Pakistan floods, UN appeals for aid with a third of the country underwater. <laughs> the Lord will probably jack them up, man. Just like the Lord is jacking up everywhere right now. All right. See, and this is what Esau would do. Esau won't put the fear of God in in, in man. <laughs> you know, right? he won't do that, right? He'd rather talk about climate change. All right, to have you, uh, you know, bow down to his um his system that he created because you know he's supposed to be trying to save the planet. So everyone needs to do what he says, otherwise, you know, the people, you know, are gonna experience more. Of this crazy weather man you know so if you don't bow down and do what we tell you you know you're gonna be in problems man and again this climate this whole climate thing you know is used to as, as a method of control because if, if he's sort of explaining to us that this is the reason why it's happening and it's not nothing, got nothing to do with god right but this is if this is the reason why it's happening you know you do due to your what you quote unquote call uh, a climate change Right, then that means we have to listen to you. Not not the Most High, not you know, not the not the Scriptures. We have to listen to you because you're the one running, you know, these organizations, man. 
Okay, you're putting yourself in, in the power seat for that. All right, and these nations, they're going to be scared. They're like, oh, look at the devastation. They're going to be how many people are dead. All right, eventually they're going to come around and say, yeah, okay, we'll do, we'll, we'll be on board with your, with, with, your, with your plans, man. You know, and like I said, this, this, these in, that just falls into Esau's hands, you know, with his agendas and that, man. And that's what this is all about. This is what he's saying. Right? Climate catastrophe, whatever, man. Okay, this is all the, the doing of the heavenly fire, man, because the people are wicked on the earth. All right, this is uh, more than 1,100 dead. A disaster could cost 10 billion. Could they, they're going to need money for that, too. Right? IMF and shit, right? They could be like, let, let, to borrow that money. All right? It tells you here that, um, where is it? It is the world's fifth most populous country with a population of 242 million. Right? And it's the 33rd largest country by area. Okay, so it ain't a small place, man. And the fact that a third of it is uh is flooded up right now, that's um it's a big deal, you know. Right? You see Pakistan here. Alright. Next to India, um, Iran and that, Afghanistan. So you got the the size of Pakistan there, right? And you know, little old UK, you know, is over here, you know. Similar kind of, well, not similar kind of size and kind of volume, though, because we're not, you know. But um, but yeah, so uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a it's a large place. It's the Lord's flooded over there, man. And like I said, a thousand and hundred dead. You know. But like like I said, you know, the Lord is terrible, man, and this is why, you know, the, the Lord needs to be feared, right? It's from Deuteronomy chapter ten, verse seventeen. It says, "For the Lord your power, which is our power, the Israelites' power." Okay. Uh, is God of gods and Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty and a terrible, which regardeth not persons nor taking reward, right? And we all know through the scriptures that we also don't care about these nations, man. You know, look how many play, <laughs> look how many nations there are on the planet. Well, well, so called nations, right? These are all, you know, modern day nations, right? But, you know, folk. Remember the numbers like seventeen nations in the scriptures. I have to go back and look at that. But um, but all the people that are in the planet right now, right? The Lord don't really care about these other nations, right? The only, the ones that the Lord cares about is His children. Okay, who are the children of Israel. So all these people, they you know they're kind of insignificant to the Lord anyway. All right, so you don't regard no person. You don't really care about you. You know. So He does execute judgment. Of the fatherless and widow and love the love of the stranger and giving him food and raiment, right? The Lord executes judgment in the earth, right? He doesn't care, you know, about your situations, man. Okay, if you're if you're wicked and you've done evil, man, you're gonna get judged. All right. This is Amos chapter three verse six. It says, "Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people will be not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it?" Okay, the Lord is behind all these acts, man. Okay, you can paper it however you want. You talking about climate change and whatever, man. But it's the Lord that is doing it, right? And the reason why it's happening is because of your wicked, you know, for, from people's uh, for people's wickedness, man, on the earth. All right. This is Isaiah forty-five, verse five says, "I am the Lord, and there is none else." Right? These idols don't exist. These gods that these other nations serve, they don't exist, man. It says, "I am the Lord; there is none else. There is no god beside me. I girded thee, thou that has not known me." Okay, speaking about the children of Israel, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Oh, I did have it here. Okay, it says, "I from the light." And create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. All right. This is from Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five. I'm gonna get it from verse twenty-one. It says, "Then shall the right aiming thunderbolts go abroad, and from the clouds, as from a well-drawn bow, they shall fly to the mark. And hailstones full of wrath shall be cast as cast as out of a stone bow." And the war of the sea shall rage against them, and the floods shall cruelly drown them. All right, 
and this is just just a, an example of you know the floods that these these um you know these Pakistanis are experiencing right now because the Lord is in control of all these things. And this is all speaking about the 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 end judgment you know against um against Babylon and that. But the Lord is in control of the waves and the and the, you know the lightnings and the hell, all the weather, right? So you know you can talk about climate, but the Lord is in control of the weather. Okay, it's not so much you, right, or us per se, though the Lord has got us doing what, you know, the Lord's got us doing on the planet to create these uh, particular situations to occur. But ultimately, the Lord's in control of the weather. Okay, the Lord's in control of your 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 sea levels, right? He's in control of all those things, man. And the Lord will send upon you whatever you want to send upon you, man, whenever it is time to send upon send it upon you man you know there's a reason why the flood happened that day that time or whatever that many people were killed that portion of of, of you know land there's a reason for all of that there's a reason why it didn't happen the day before the day after or you know whatever it was it was appointed everything is appointed everything has an appointed time judgment has an appointed time all right so all these these weather weather destructions, these weather judgments that take place, right? It's the Lord that brought them upon you. All right. So ye, uh, yea, a mighty wind shall stand up against them, and like a storm shall blow them away. Thus iniquity shall lay waste the whole earth, and the evil dealing shall overthrow the thrones of the mighty. All right. And like I said, eventually, you know, when America is destroyed, man, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's going to be happening on the earth, man. There's going to be so much. Catastrophes going on, okay, weather related and, and otherwise, right? That this place is, you know, this world is going to be, in a, you know, for lack of a better word, destroyed, man. It's going to be fruit, right? The missiles that are going to hit America, they're going to cause all tsunamis and earthquakes and volcanic eruptions and pyroclasms and, you know, uh, tornadoes, all, all this type of shit. Right? These things are going to be happening, man. And like I said, the Lord is the one behind it all. all right, we'll close up with this. This is uh, Tobit 14, uh, verse 6. And all nations shall turn and fear the Lord power, Yahweh, truly, and shall bury their idols. Right? They're going to understand that, you know, these idols, they don't have no breath in them. There is no power with, with them. Right? And they're going to fall and, fall and worship the Lord. Right, and that doesn't mean that they're going to become the Lord's people. They're going to be perfect, and the Lord's, you know, going to have mercy upon them, and blah blah blah. blah. I mean, the Lord will have mercy upon them to in 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 some degrees, right? But in terms of the salvation, it doesn't mean you know they're going to be uh, what's the, what's the word, man? Favored, right, by the Lord, okay, because they're not His people. Okay, but all the all the world, all the nations of the world will serve the heavenly Father, and they do, they will uh, acknowledge him as the as the Most High, and they will obey his laws, you know, to the best of their abilities, right? But we are going to be kings and judges over the earth, man. We're going to be the one issuing the law. Okay, bringing bringing judgment according to the law. Okay, that is what our position in the earth is supposed to be. As the Lord's chosen people. Alright, but these, these people are gonna put away their idols, man. They, they ain't gonna be idols on the earth anymore. Right, but anyway, verse 7 says, So shall all nations praise the Lord, and his and his people shall confess God. Okay, it's our people, right? The Israelites. And the Lord shall exalt his people. Okay, the, the Lord's gonna exalt his people. He ain't gonna exalt the heathen, but he's gonna exalt his people. Right? And all those which love the Lord power in truth and justice shall rejoice showing mercy to our brethren all right so like i said all this is just um judgment against the heathen man all right with the idol idol worship they're doing all the wickedness that they're doing in their in, in their own lands the lord sent a flood over there to to damage them all right but you know with that lord witness is edifying and I'll catch you brothers and sisters on the next video, man. So till next time, I say shalom.